Let me, uh, before I let you go, just talk <coughs> a little bit about national politics. Texas is going to be a key state, obviously, again. You've got, what, Jeb Bush, uh, who has Texas uh, connections, obviously, probably Ted Cruz. He's doing everything he can to run for president. Rick Perry. You think all three of them are going to run? I would not be surprised if they all run. If, if I could expand on that, the, the, the Texas connection, Carly Fiorina was born in Austin, Texas, like you were. Well, that's true. Uh, we also have Rand Paul, uh, who is a Texas native. Uh, so look, the odds favor uh, that the next president, at least the Republican nominee, is going to have a Texas connection. If, if all of those people wound up running, what's that, five of them? Yes. Who finishes fifth? Finishes fifth? <laughs> <laughs> Who finishes third? Uh, that, that's beyond my predictable skills. Have you picked out, do you have a, a horse yet? Well, what I'm looking for uh, is to ensure, for one, that we have a nominee that is committed to what I'm most committed to, and that is someone who is going to follow the Constitution and apply the Constitution. Second, someone who is going to step up and do what the American people are demanding, and that is to secure our border. I interpret that to mean you are not ready to announce who you're supporting. Uh, I, I am looking for the best candidate who can right. ensure a conservative agenda is going to be achieved for America. All right, thank you very much, Governor. Hope you'll come back to see us. Thank you. I'll have some personal thoughts about all of this and beagles in just a minute, so stay with us.